Learning English is more fun. Today I will share to you the parable of the rainbow colors written by Juan M. Flavier. In this story, we will understand how we should defend ourselves from being belittled and how we should anchor our strengths to a broadened horizon. This parable will also help us explore our existing powerful characteristics while allowing others to be a part of our success. But before that, let us improve our vocabulary. Let's give the meaning of the unfamiliar words used in the selection. Denigrate. The people in the city denigrate the folk fashion style. Denigrate. To say unfair comments. Number two. Haughty. I am the best and no one can beat me. Yet the haughty student. Haughty. Blatantly and disdainfully proud. Number three, outlandish. Going to outlandish places always excite, excites the adventurous man. Outlandish, very strange or unusual. Patriotism. Our national heroes' patriotism was so admirable that they sacrificed their lives for our country and fellow men. Patriotism, love for one's country. Number five, contentious. If your classmate insists you to do something you hate, it will result to contentious discussion. Contentious, likely to cause disagreement. Remember those words, guys, because they are used in the story. Now let's read the parable of the rainbow colors by Juan M. Flavier. The parable of rainbow colors. It all started as innocent statesmen by each of the caller. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate to the, the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility. But as time went on, the caller's declaration became stronger and haughty, with an overtone which tended to put down the other callers. Their claim became very explicit as to who was the best caller. It reached the point when the callers were actually quarreling, said the caller red. I am the brightest for red is the most striking. Why? Life's sustaining blood is colored red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are colored red. The caller yellow retorted, What can be brighter than my yellow exemplified by the sun? I am the caller of gaiety and of warm. Without me, only the eye-glaring ones remain. What outlandish claims! Interpose the color orange. Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am more important because I represent health and strength. Look at the ripe fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you are talking about vegetables and leaves, you are referring to my color, declared the color green. I am the symbol of life. All that thrives in the fields and the forest is the greenery I provide. I am the most important color. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted, What can be more expansive than the sky and the seas? Do you forget that the farthest skies and the deepest seas are blue? I re represent patriotism. I stand for the depth of feelings and extensive face spaces. The caller indigo came out with a statement. You talk about wide areas. I hope you realize that the largest area in the world is silence. And I represent that dimension with my caller. It means thoughtfulness. It is prayer expressed in the deepest of feelings. Aha, you forgot a the pomp of royalty and provide power is violet, shouted the caller. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupts the contentious exchange of arguments. You are probably all, all wrong and all right. Yes, you all have your unique features, but all of you have a special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed color and beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, 
a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. That's the parable of a rainbow. Our learning insights, everybody has an important role to, per per to perform. The rainbow represents cooperation and hope. There's a rainbow always after the rain. Don't lose hope. Thank you, and God bless everyone.